back. Obviously, Tennessee played some pretty big games. You're saying previously? Yeah. Um, I would say Texas A&M. Uh, nine versus eight was probably one of the biggest uh, games I played in. Atmosphere was pretty, um, pretty electric. So, um, but this this one I think is about to top all that. So I'm excited. You're an Ohio guy, so I mean, what was your experience with Notre Dame before you got to Tennessee and Georgia? Was it on your recruiting radar? Or, you know, um, stuff or? N- not so much me. No, I, I do have some uh, family friends that are Notre Dame fans, and um, again, I hope I hope they're rooting for me at least on this side. Of, so, um, but th- I, I know who they're rooting for in the outcome of the game. Do you guys Guys, watch college game day in, in the rooms. Are people watching that at, in road trips when it's available when you're on schedule? If you get the chance, um, usually it, if it's a noon or 3:30 game, you're you're already well on your way to the stadium. So um, for night games like this, if you can catch a glimpse of it here and there, yes. But I wouldn't say we're laser focused on it. But um, I'm, I'm told it's it's pretty exciting. So does it add to the allure when, when game day is at a game you're playing in? I think you mentioned that A&M game. I'm pretty sure game day was there that day too. Uh, I try not to get too caught up in, in that kind of stuff and just focus on on playing football. So um, no, I, I, I wouldn't say it, it changes my mindset uh, on anything. But I'm, I'm excited for this one. What about the uh, challenge that's at hand on Saturday? Uh, obviously, we know about their defensive front and their edge uh, pressure and 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 guys in particular. You guys as tight ends are obviously intimately involved in all that what's your what's your view of the the challenge that you guys will have on saturday they're fast and physical for sure very talented football team especially on the defensive end um but i think we're up for the challenge again this is this is what you uh practice all summer for is games like this so we're excited and ready for that could, could this season have really gone any better for you at this point if somebody would have told you where you would be at this juncture of the season would you have been pretty happy with that either? um yeah i mean the team's three and uh so I'm excited as as I can be, so uh, we're just looking forward to preparing as well as we can this week and, and make that 4-0. So, what does Isaiah what does Isaiah bring to the huddle? I, I know Kirby, you know, said we're not sure if he's going to be back out there yet, but when Isaiah Wilson's out there, does he bring another element, another dimension, um, personality level of play? Isaiah is super talented. Everybody can see that. Um, whether he's playing or not, I, I know we're going to have somebody out there that, that can execute at a very high level. Um, we're, we're hoping he's back and healthy, but if not, um, I think we're just going to have to next guy up and is going to uh, step up to the challenge. So, thanks. Good stuff, man. Thanks. Well, I have a lot of Notre Dame fans have that special allure that it does still for a lot of fans, particularly as old people who've covered, you know, remembered Notre Dame and Aaron Percy. You know, guys like that. I mean, is it? Are they just another really good program, or do y'all get a little, a little um, special for y'all? For me personally, I, I look at them as a very talented program, a very historic program, and the, it's a great opportunity to get to play play them and, and show off, you know, uh, who the better team can be. You know, and it's going to be a battle, and, and I think we're all really excited for it. So, so Stan, what do you remember? Do you, do you have any memories of Notre Dame? Is that somebody you followed at all growing up, or um, anything that you remember about them? Being from up north, there's family friends that are Notre Dame fans, and they're obviously not too far away. Um, but super talented, and year in and year out, just perform at a very high level. That, that's what I have a memory of. Do you know the name George Gipp? Uh, no. Okay, the four horsemen. That that rings a little bit more of a bell. <laughs> okay. Did you see Rudy? Yeah, seen Rudy. Your review of the movie? Uh, it's a great movie. Great movie. I, uh, some people say that they cry at the end. I was never one to get too emotional, but uh, it is a good movie. Was he offsides? <laughs> no, sure. Yeah, he was. Uh, he was offsides. Yeah. Lou Holtz. Yeah, Lou Holtz. There's a lot, lot of lot of legends come come from Notre Dame. So um, great school, very historic program. Do you? Um, more time, I know it's a guy you can go against and practice, but what does Jerry mean to this team, kind of overall as a leader, and kind of the tone and the work ethic that, that he says? Very, uh, very good leader. Works very hard, extremely hard, and super smart. He, he anticipates super well. Uh, hard, hard guy to get off, get off in the coverage. So, um, I think he's a very integral part of the defense here. The uh, the atmosphere that what that you're anticipating here on Saturday. Uh, Will be really any that much different from a game day in Athens because it's every game day here is such a, such a buzz. I guess. Yeah, game, game days in Athens are electric regardless. Um, for us, I think we're just going to try and not get too caught up in the hype and focus on the game. For the fans, it should be a great time. Um, I think everybody's got to take a moment in and, and not take it for granted and appreciate that you're at the University of Georgia playing against number seven Notre Dame because that's a moment that comes around once in a lifetime. But uh, I take that moment in and then, and then try and get it out and play football. So.